It's another case study time. Yay! This website I've been waiting to share with you for a long time, but it took a while until it was published live. So now I can share it with you. Some of you guys who have been following along this uh, vlog know that it's been a long project with a lot of failures in it and a lot of rounds of iterations. And I want to share the whole process with you. I don't think it would be fun to just jump into the end result without seeing the whole context, without seeing the whole process, how crappy it was in the beginning. And I think it turned out pretty good at the end. So here's the story. Uh, this client, they're called ScaleUp. They're an investment group and I've been working with them. Uh, previously, I created their, their branding, their logo. I've shared that as a case study on the vlog and their website. Now they have a new fund that's focused on cryptocurrencies and they wanted a new website for that. Something really, really simple, like a one pager uh, that, that will look very good, very professional, um, and that will attract investors. The challenge with that was that unlike other uh, website or their previous website where they had images to work with kind of the, the portfolio companies that they were invested in in this project they still haven't started to invest yet and so there weren't really images to work with and i suggested early on to start working with a 3d artist uh, i know a guy that's called yambo he's an amazing artist check out his work he's doing fantastic stuff like super high quality working with brands around the world like really with with top clients he's doing amazing stuff and I was really I never did a project with a 3d artist and I really wanted to work with him together in collaboration and I thought this could be a great solution to the fact that they don't have any images to work with and we can create some kind of abstract something around the world of cryptocurrencies and coins and do something really really cool so they weren't really sure about this but i told them let's get started if you don't like it by the kind of when you see the sketches maybe we can cancel and go another way uh, but i really was pushing in that direction and so we got started and on the first uh, presentation i did to them i presented three concepts around what this visual can be so let me show you uh, the presentation so Here's how I presented the concept basically. So the first one was called cell multiplication. And the idea here was that, you know, there as an investment group, they're going to help you multiply your money. And so there is this concept that we know that cells kind of start as one cell and then they divide into a lot. And I thought this would be great to show kind of money splitting. And so this is kind of a mock up of the website. And I've created this kind of raw 3D illustration actually just with Illustrator, uh, with extrude shapes. And I show them kind of the flow of the animation, like we have one coin that's splitting and splitting until there is a lot of coins. So that was the first concept. Second concept, I called it digging for oil. And it was kind of using the, the reference of, you know, old oil machinery um, because, you know, they, they're finding the right investment spot and then there's like a lot of money there so i was suggesting maybe we have kind of this shape or this this kind of a drilling machine and after a while it's it found like the the oil and then there's lots of coins going out from there the third concept i called it the gold rush and it was based on you know uh, how people were digging for gold um in the old days so i was i wanted to show some kind of a filter and there's a bunch of like not good coins and good coins and they're they're being filtered until you only are left with the valuable coins so those were the three concepts that i got started with on the first presentation the result was we don't like any of them and the reasoning was actually pretty good cell multiplication it reminded them of disease or maybe cancer and that's not a very good association uh, for their brand digging for oil they said that you know digging for oil takes a lot of luck and so and most of the time maybe you don't hit it and they don't want to have this association with their brands they want to like promise their investors that they're going to hit oil for sure and so this metaphor wasn't working for them and the gold rush which what they said which is correct was that most people like going in the gold rush trying to look for gold didn't end up finding gold and the people who are actually getting rich were the people who are selling them the tools and so showing yourself as a gold digger is not a good association for somebody who's going to make a lot of money and so this was a bummer but i i had to agree that those concepts weren't working i went uh back and had some you know thinking and uh, and came up with with new concepts and so the round two of the concepts, um, I called this the fourth concept, uh, the expert examination. 
information because I was saying that they have the perspective to really know which cryptocurrencies are good or which is bad. And so using this kind of a lens to see the inside and see the little details um, might be a good metaphor. Um, and Yambo sent me this kind of a reference of, of a 3D art that uh, was done for Nike, which he thought could be really cool if we make kind of these layers of uh, magnifying glass with a coin behind him, maybe something cool can happen. And so I tried to mock that up for them, something, you know, really simple so they can understand the concept. The, and the last concept was the inner working. So there is this concept of a, a watch that's being opened and you can see how it all works um, inside. And I told them I've been doing a little bit of research into the, you know, um, uh, currents like cryptography, how the history of cryptography, how people used to uh, do cryptography in the past. And this is actually how the core of, you know, cryptocurrencies work as well. And so using those metaphor of old cryptography inside of a coin, so maybe you'll see a coin being open and inside there is this disk that are doing the cryptography. I thought this could be pretty cool. And so I've sh I, sh I had a meeting with them, show them those concept and they actually didn't like those concepts as well. But during that meeting along with them, we kind of came to brainstorm together and came to an idea that we like. So let me show you. We were collecting references. Um, by the way, to begin with, Yam collected a lot of references of 3D art just to show them visually um, what the what are the possibilities are for kind of visualization that we can do. Um, and. So those are some of the references that I've collected around. Okay, and this was the one that we kind of uh, decided when we brainstormed together. We, uh, we arrived at this metaphor of a collector, a coin collector that has a collection of a lot of different coins. And actually, the collection is more valuable than any one specific coin. And so this would be a good metaphor for them because they are going to invest in a lot of different coins. They're going to replace them when they're not so valuable and they're going to create uh, kind of a fund of super, super um, valuable coins. And so this metaphor is something that they did relate to and we told ourselves, okay, let's try and collect, create this visual collection of, of different, uh, different coins. So that was just to get the concept approved. Once we got the concept approved, we got started on actually doing the renders and actually trying to get to visualize this. So this was a long process. Those are some of the really most initial uh, renders that Yam sent me. Again, this is just a sketch, but just to find a good layout that we can uh, work with. So once he sent me this, I kind of I took it to sketch and, and placed it inside of a of kind of a mock-up for the website just to see how this looks. Um, and Okay, and my, my problem with this basically was that it looks too much like poker chips, which is a very, very bad metaphor when you're doing investment. You don't want to have people think that you're gambling with their money. So it didn't really look like a coin. It looked more like a poker chip. And so uh, we did some iterations on that until we came to um, this this specific rendering and this was the kind of the first layout that I've sent them and I've, I've sent them this in I've built them the website in in Webflow and so I've already built up the the website and sent them kind of a link to see how this look and they told me yeah we we don't like this this doesn't look good we we don't even know is this like a button is this like uh, an espresso uh, uh, you know uh, like capsule what is this it doesn't look like a coin it doesn't it's not very beautiful it's we, we actually don't like the very dark atmosphere of the website um, because it, it might look like dark and scammy and we don't want to perceive ourselves that way and so they just said we don't like it. It doesn't look very good. Maybe we should give up the, the whole 3D direction. And I told them, look, 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 this is just a sketch to see the concept, right? I also don't think that it looks good. I think there's a lot of things to, to improve. The texture, the lighting, everything has to be improved. Uh, but they were saying, okay, we can't really imagine that. So I told them, okay, you know what? I'll take the risk on myself. Um, you know, you don't have to buy it if you don't want to, but I want to get the rendering right. I want to do it this like, perfect and I'll show you it, this when it's done. This was a pretty risky thing because again they were not sure about this but I went ahead and did not kind of cancel uh, my project with Yambo but rather went ahead and did like 12 rounds of iterations and let me show you kind of like how we were working together so again those were the first 
that's just the first round. And then um, this is probably the second round. Then we then we moved into a white background, try to change the texture, trying to make it more uh, more gold. And when we got to this point, um, I actually started to like this because I thought this looks like a coin, but like an abstract coin, not like a very specific coin. I didn't want to show specific coins because I didn't know who they're going to invest in. Um, so this this the second version that I showed them. This is like. Uh, like a better rendering um, and actually let me see okay so this is actually this I already uploaded the actually connected the webflow to my own domain and this is actually the rendering that I show them including animations so no what you see here is kind of like the collection the coins are like flipping because as we said the collection changes sometimes and I'm not sure that you can see but around the coins there is like a uh, binary digit of zeros and one uh, which kind of represent the cryptocurrencies uh, you know scrolling around the coins um, so this is basically what I sent them again it's a very simple website and here are just like some abstract coins I when I saw this I was like I really like this I think this looks like a good website I, I really like this and I sent this over to them like, ta-da, your website is ready. And guess what they said? They actually said, that doesn't look like coins. That looks like this toffee-fee chocolate bars. Um, we we don't think this is a good render. We think maybe your, your friend Yambo is not such a professional because this doesn't look like gold. This doesn't look like coins. And so, uh, well, we're not sure about this. At this point, I've been working like 10 or 11 rounds of revisions with, with Yambo. We're both working on this project more than we thought, more than we uh, priced it for. But um, I didn't actually know what to do. So at that point, what I did was tell them, okay, I got your nose. This doesn't look like coin. They actually want it. They told me, we want to see kind of Bitcoin, Litecoin, other like very specific coins on the coins. We want them to know that this is like cryptocurrencies point, uh, uh, coins. And so I told them, okay, I got your nose but since we're very far off our budget and we worked on this too much and I know that this is my fault so here's what I suggest I will go and work with Yamo and do the fixes that you now asked for but I will also offer you an alternative version with like a stoke photo that I will buy because that's the alternative if we're not going with with the 3d uh, that I'm doing we have to get like a stock photo and so I will give you those two alternatives and here's how this turned out so after we've done a few more rounds those are the coins that uh, we came up with um, what I actually did let me just show you here um, I went and got from Shutterstock they have like this vector um, of cryptocurrencies coins that each each of them has a logo but I didn't like the texture and so I went ahead and bought like this digital uh, circuit and created kind of changed the textures to look like this which is kind of the textures that I wanted for the coins and so I've created all of these textures and I've sent the textures uh, back to Yambo and he created this rendering it the gold looks much more real note when when they're um, like flipping there is like a very realistic reflection on them and this was I thought this looked much better look at the coins around here so with this like suddenly I was saying oh this wasn't really good this is much much better uh, but since I promised them I will show them an alternative I also showed this website which is again it's the same website basically but it's just the header is using like a, a, an image I got from Shutterstock I really didn't want them to choose this but uh, you know I had to show them this anyway Fortunately, when I showed this to them, they loved it. They were like, oh, this actually looks really good. We like this. And so it's been a very, very long process. But uh, at the end of it, I really like how this turns out. You know, um, I think it's abstract. I think it's very clean. I think it's really telling the story of like we're collecting and switching and, and we have a lot of experience in the cryptocurrency world. Also, I think because it looks so clean and, and you know, neat, it gives uh, a professional feeling to them which I think is what they were looking for um, I've built the project in Webflow as I told you look it's super super simple I, I only have the navigation the video bar here um, and the page with you know the containers it's really really simple uh, it's actually the second website that I'm building them in Webflow I've built the original um, scale up 
uh, website in, in Webflow. They're using the CMS, they like it, and so this one was obvious that it's gonna be with Webflow. Uh, finished it, moved it over to, to their account, and actually this is, uh, they've, as you can see, they've changed the text a little bit, uh, and this is already up on their domain, which I'm super happy about. They're happy about this, so overall, <laughs> very, it was, I wouldn't say it was a fun project because it was very frustrating. Honestly, I don't think that Yambo enjoyed working with me uh, because it, I didn't allow him for a lot of creative freedom. Every time he tried to do something that he thought might be cool, I kind of told him, no, I don't think the client will like this. And so I feel like he was frustrated with me, not, not like personally, uh, he was super nice and super professional, but I think that he didn't, and really enjoy it. I don't think he's like going to end up with, you know, you saw that his portfolio, it's got like crazy work. I don't think this work is gonna end up in his portfolio, but I really, really like this. I'm, I'm probably gonna add this to my portfolio. Um, and so, yeah, it was a great experience. I will know for the next time that 3D, getting 3D to look right, takes so much work and so many iterations. It's really, really not that simple. But um, you want to do good stuff, you have to experiment, you have to try and you have to, you know, work hard until you think it's, it's good enough. All right, hope this was helpful for you guys. Have a great day. I'll catch you tomorrow.